The process of making videos and content like this may take hours or even days to complete. You have to find a niche, come up with video ideas, you have to plan and start scripting your videos, then the recall process gonna start and then hours and hours of editing. And before you publish your video, you have to find a catchy title, write the perfect descriptions and tags, and design a thumbnail that attracts people to click. And that's why I really appreciate it if you support my channel by liking, subscribing and commenting. So we make the algorithm of YouTube happy and it's gonna help me to make more content like this. But now I'm really excited that I have such an assistant beside me that gonna help me to speed up the process of creating content. Okay, so now let me show you how ChatGPT gonna help you with creating YouTube videos. All right, guys, so the process of creating YouTube videos is very similar to the process of writing a book. You can use ChatGPT to find a niche for your YouTube channel and as well to find ideas for your content. It's really important to have a trending niche and at the same time less crowded. Okay, so now let's ask ChatGPT about some ideas. Suggest five trending niches for YouTube channel that are likely to go viral in 2023 and are less crowded. Let's go. crazy right so if you are searching for a niche for your youtube channel here you have five ideas so the first one is about the environment the next one about the virtual reality the mental health personal finance and online training and of course if you want more ideas you can say okay suggest so five more crazy so now let's pick the personal finance over here as a niche for our youtube channel the next step we have to find ideas for our videos and of course for that we can use ChatGPT to suggest some video ideas for us so we're gonna have the following prompt suggest five ideas for a youtube video about the topic number four but now let's make it not that easy for ChatGPT. let's say the following that not many people know about just to make sure that our video is gonna go viral right so let's go Wonderful, right? So now we have five video ideas for our new YouTube channel. Let's see the results. So the first one about the debt, the second one is about the emergency fund, and then the third is like introduction to our investments, then how to create a budget, and of course, this trending topic, whether we're gonna rent or buy a home. If I'm gonna create a personal finance channel, those are really cool ideas to start with. All right, so now let's say that we want to start with a video about creating a budget. So the next step, and here we have the fun part, where we have to write a YouTube script for our video. And of course, we can use the help of ChatGPT to generate a YouTube script for us. So let's have this prompt. Write a script for YouTube video with scenes on the topic number four. And now we're gonna add the style. So we're gonna have in engaging and easy to understand style. So here we have to specify which audience we are targeting. Is it the beginners or the advanced viewers? So I would say here, let's go for beginners. For total beginners. Let's go. Let's see the output. This is insanely good. This is really stunning. This level of script is very professional. It's not only like writing the script, what you're gonna say, but also describing the B rolls. So here, for example, it says, okay, cut to shot with the person sitting with the finance advisor. So here, as you are saying the script, you can like fetch a video or footage with such a thing. This stuff gonna help you massively if you are going to create any content. But obviously we are not going to copy and paste everything it generates. It is really great starting point to reference or outline if you are creating a script for YouTube. Another use case for ChatGPT, we can find duplicates in our scripts. I don't know if you already noticed, I say often, all right guys or okay guys so you can use ChatGPT to find those stuff that repeats over and over and you might want to adjust it so for example here i have a youtube script about tableau and what we can do we can go and copy everything from the scripts and then go to ChatGPT. all right so we can say give me a list of words 
and their frequency currents that appear more than four times and now we add our text so let's go All right, so now let's check the results. This is really wonderful. So now I have a list of all words that I repeat. Tableau public was with 13 occurrence. This is normal. Maybe I was explaining this product and you can go through all the words like tutorials. It's okay. Tableau data visualizations, public limitations, maybe limitations. I should not like say it five times. So I have to find some alternatives, but we can ask ChatGPT about that. So let's say, okay, give me five better alternatives for the word limitations so with this instead of me saying like five times limitations in the video i can say like drawbacks restrictions and so on and with that you optimize your videos and scripts and you sound more professional and this is really important as a content maker that you optimize always your scripts you optimize your videos and now with the help of ChatGPT, we can do more analyzes for our content and now there is some situations where you say you know what i don't create scripts for me i just open the camera and start recording so how i'm gonna analyze my text if you go and edit your video you can go to the subtitle and here youtube generates of course the whole text of your audio so what you can do you can just go over here and copy everything and go to ChatGPT and analyze the duplicates. All right, so after you record your video, the next step is to edit your video. Here we have small problem. You cannot use ChatGPT in order to edit the video, but we can still use ChatGPT to give us like tips and tricks, best practices, about the editing process. For example, which music we can add to our video, which animations, soundtracks, and so on. For example, let's say I'm creating YouTube video about how to create a budget. What is the best music and sound effects to use in my video? Let's go. To be honest, I haven't thought about it, whether I'm gonna add background music to my videos and tutorials. I haven't done it before. So now if you are seeing this video and you are hearing background music, it's because of this tip. So here it says, I can add some calm background music. This type of music can create a relaxed and focused atmosphere that can help to keep viewers engaged and focused on the task at hand. So what do you think? Should I add background music to my tutorials? And if I do that during the editing, Please give me your opinion whether you like it or not. All right, so now we are done with the editing. The next step is that we're gonna go and publish our video. But before we make it public, we have to add a lot of stuff like the title and thumbnail, the description of the video and the tags. So we can use ChatGPT to generate titles for our videos. Your video title and thumbnail, they are very important thing because they are the first thing that the viewers gonna see when they come across your videos. And based on the title and the thumbnail, the viewer gonna click on your video or or will not. Let's see how ChatGPT can help us with that. Generate five YouTube catchy titles for my video about how to create a budget that can catch the viewer's attention. Let's go. As you can see, now we have five titles for our videos. At the start, I really spent like hours just searching and analyzing what are the best titles for videos. I found a lot of channels, analyzed their titles. It was really painful process to have a catchy title for your video. But now with the help of the AI, we can just do it in a few seconds and then you will have a professional suggestions from the AI. And if you don't like those titles, we can always say, okay, give me more five suggestions. All right, so the next step in the process is to create a thumbnail for our video that grabs the people's attention to click on it. And here we cannot use ChatGPT to generate images. It generates only text, but we still can ask for advices. So let's have this prompt. Give me some ideas for YouTube thumbnail for video titled. And let's add our title over here that attracts people to click 
on my video. Let's go. Alright, so let's check the answer. We got seven suggestions because I was not very specific. I was saying some ideas and if you are a content creator you will understand how amazing are those suggestions so for example here it says okay person holding a calculator with determined lock on their face with the title of the video so it's really good start point to create the thumbnail using this idea or over here a person sitting at a desk with word expression surrounded by pills and paperwork with the title of the video overlaid in a thought bubble above their head this is really funny but yeah most of the thumbnails in the youtube looks like this all right so now we have the title and the thumbnail next we have to describe our youtube video so we have to add such a description to our video and here it's really important that the youtube description matches the content of your video and having bad description can has two side effects first the viewers if they notice that the description not matching the content they will like dislike it or not subscribe for you which can lead to low watch time and low engagement and the second side effect is the youtube algorithm it's gonna like analyze everything the description the title the tags and if it doesn't match the video it's gonna rank it low and it will not appear in the search so how we can use ChatGPT to generate those descriptions it's really easy we just go to the subtitles over here and copy the whole text from the video and then go to ChatGPT. okay so we're gonna write it like this repurpose this youtube video scripts into youtube video description and then we add our youtube scripts so let's go Okay, as you can see, we got the output in few seconds. This is the power of the neural networks, where it analyzes like thousands of words in few seconds and responds to your prompts. So let's see the text. In this video, I take you on a short tour of the Tableau interface. I explain that a Tableau workbook contains three main pages and so on. This is perfect for YouTube description. You make sure that everything that you said in the video is in the description. And with that, you're gonna get a perfect match for YouTube algorithm and as well for people that are watching your videos. So there is no way that people will say, okay, this is unmatching for the description and it was like clickbait. And of course, if you want it shorter or like more engaging, we can say, for example, rewrite the description, but make it shorter and in more engaging style so let's see so now we have it it's a little bit shorter than the first one and it's more engaging i really love to hear the answer from ChatGPT. so i think i have to go and revisit everything in youtube and change all my description all right so next we can use ChatGPT to generate the youtube tags for your video here in youtube we can add like around 500 characters as tags and that's gonna help the youtube algorithm to understand your content so here we're gonna say suggest youtube tags for my video with the title and here we add our title so let's go this is really amazing help for youtubers and it follow as well the best practices some words on your title should be included in the tags as well so here we have paycheck to paycheck and we have it as well here as a tag this is just perfect all right so now we have everything and we can go and make our video public in youtube so as you can see the process of creating youtube videos and content is really time consuming and contains a lot of steps but now with the help of the ai and shark gpt everything can speed up and you're gonna be more efficient and productive and of course as content maker and youtuber you are always learning new stuff, tips and tricks left and right. And now you don't have to search a lot. Any question that comes in your mind about YouTube, we can go and ask ChatGPT about it. For example, explain the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> yeah, you hear ChatGPT trying to skip this question. Too many requests in one hour. I totally believe it. Yeah, ChatGPT added this restriction because there's a lot of people and a lot of stress on the service. One hour later. Alright, so now I'm allowed to ask the ChatGPT again. All 
Alright, so let's see the answer. The YouTube algorithm is a very complicated one. And here ChatGPT listed for us the main factors for the algorithm. For example, the algorithm checks the viewer history. So the algorithm gonna check what did you search for, what did you like, comment, share, to suggest the video that you might be interested in. And then it's gonna check as well the video engagement. So it's gonna check how many views it has, likes, comments. So if those numbers are high, you will get recommended for the others. And the third one, you see that the YouTube algorithm gonna check the titles, the tags and descriptions to determine whether this video is relevant for the viewer. So with this, you can extend your knowledge about the YouTube algorithm using ChatGPT. And if one of those factors are not clear for you, you can ask ChatGPT to give you more details. For example, we can say elaborate more about the fourth point about the video freshness. So let's see. Alright, so as you can see, the ChatGPT gave us more details about the video freshness and how it affects the YouTube algorithm. So this means with the simple conversation with the ChatGPT, we can understand complex algorithm and complex topics like the YouTube algorithm to have deep knowledge about how YouTube works. Okay guys, so now the question is, is ChatGPT gonna replace our YouTubers? If you go to YouTube and search for ChatGPT, you will find a lot of people talking about how to make money using YouTube and ChatGPT by creating content only using AI without you being involved. I have different opinion about that. I think you cannot replace the YouTubers because they can bring very unique perspectives, personalities and creativities to their videos, which is the essential part of creating engaging content. And ChatGPT is here only to assist us. It's gonna provide ideas, suggestions, speed up the process of writing scripts, but I don't think it's gonna replace the YouTubers. All right, guys, I'm really interested to hear your opinion about this topic ChatGPT and how you are using it in your daily basis. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, then I really appreciate it if you support, like, and comment. This is really gonna help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.